Imagine a town simply vanishing. No warning, no trace. One day it's there, bustling with life. The next it's gone, swallowed whole by some unknown force. This is the story of Rua Verde, a small Brazilian town that disappeared into thin air in the summer of 1923. Its fate remains one of the most baffling mysteries of the 20th century. Nestled in the heart of the Brazilian rainforest, Rua Verde was a quiet backwater in the 1920s. Its inhabitants were simple people. They lived off the land, their lives a tapestry of hard work and close-knit community. The town itself was a picture postcard from a bygone era. Cobblestone streets wound past quaint houses. A whitewashed church stood sentinel over the town square. Life moved at a slower pace in Rua Verde. But beneath the tranquil surface, something sinister was brewing. On August 18th, 1923, a government telegram went unanswered. This was unusual for Rua Verde. The town was small, but it was always prompt in its communication. A team of officials was dispatched to investigate. What they found sent chills down their spines. Her Verde was deserted, houses stood empty, doors wide open, half-eaten meals lay on tables, toys lay scattered in the streets. It was as if time had simply stopped. The officials were baffled. They had never encountered a mystery of this magnitude before. The entire town had vanished overnight, leaving behind no clues, no signs of struggle, nothing to indicate where they might have gone. Where could 200 people vanish to without a trace? The streets were eerily silent, the homes abandoned as if the residents had simply walked out and never returned. It was as if the town had been frozen in time, a ghostly reminder of the lives that once thrived there. The search for clues began. Investigators combed through every building, every room, and every piece of paper they could find. They interviewed the few remaining neighbors, hoping to uncover any information that could explain the sudden disappearance. It didn't take long for them to stumble upon a chilling piece of evidence. In the old schoolhouse, they found something that sent shivers down their spines. Scrawled across the chalkboard in the town schoolhouse was a message. The room was dusty, the air thick with the scent of abandonment, but the message was fresh, as if written just moments before. It was written in a frantic hand, the chalk lines thick with desperation. Whoever had written it had been in a hurry, their fear palpable in every stroke of the chalk. It read simply, there is no salvation. The words echoed in the minds of the investigators, a haunting reminder of the unknown terror that had befallen the town. This cryptic warning sent a wave of fear through the investigators. They couldn't shake the feeling that something sinister was at play, something beyond their understanding. What had the townsfolk witnessed in their final moments? The question lingered in the air, unanswered and unsettling. The investigators knew they had to find out, but the path ahead was shrouded in mystery and fear. The search for answers. News of Rua Verde's disappearance spread like wildfire. The government launched a full-scale investigation determined to uncover the truth. Search parties combed the surrounding jungle. Divers plumbed the depths of nearby lakes, but every lead led to a dead end. No trace of the vanished townsfolk was ever found, no sign of a struggle, no indication of where they might have gone. The mystery of Rua Verde deepened, leaving authorities baffled and the public terrified. Whispers in the wind. In the absence of facts, theories began to circulate. Some whispered of paranormal forces, of a malevolent entity that had claimed the town for its own. Others spoke of secret government experiments gone wrong, of technology so advanced it defied explanation. There were even rumors of a local militia, known for their ruthlessness and secrecy, who were said to vanish without a trace. Each theory was more outlandish than the last, fueled by fear and speculation. Echoes of the vanished. Adding to the mystery were the strange occurrences reported in the area after the disappearance. Travelers passing through the region told of eerie lights in the night sky and disembodied whispers carried on the wind. Some even claimed to have seen shadowy figures flitting through the ruined streets of Rua Verde, only to vanish when approached. These tales, whether true or simply the product of overactive imaginations, 
added to the town's sinister reputation. A revelation from the grave. For decades, the mystery of Her Verde remained unsolved. This small, seemingly unremarkable town in Brazil vanished without a trace, leaving behind only questions and a haunting silence. The disappearance of its inhabitants baffled investigators and intrigued conspiracy theorists alike. What could have caused an entire town to simply disappear overnight? Then, in 1972, a startling new piece of evidence came to light. An old, dusty box of documents was discovered in a forgotten archive, shedding new light on the enigma. These documents hinted at a series of events that had been long buried in the annals of history. A man named Miguel Correa, on his deathbed, claimed to have been a part of a group that had sought refuge in Hoa Verde in the early 1920s. His confession was filled with a mix of fear and regret, as if the weight of his memories had been too much to bear all these years. Correa claimed the town's inhabitants had welcomed them with open arms, sharing their homes and meagre provisions. The villagers were kind and generous, offering what little they had to the newcomers. It seemed like a perfect sanctuary, a place where they could start anew. But he also claimed to have witnessed something sinister within the town itself, something that filled him with dread. The peaceful facade of Hoya Verde hid a dark secret, one that Correa could never forget. He spoke of strange rituals and eerie occurrences that made his skin crawl. Correa refused to elaborate further, his words lost to the delirium of his final hours. His mind, ravaged by time and illness, could no longer hold on to the details of what he had seen. Yet the fear in his eyes spoke volumes, leaving those who heard his story with a sense of unease. But his testimony hinted at a darker side to her verdict, a secret hidden beneath the surface of its peaceful facade. What could have driven an entire town to vanish without a trace? The documents found in the archive suggested that the town's disappearance was not a simple case of abandonment, but something far more sinister. What had Correa witnessed in those final days before the town's disappearance? Was it a supernatural force, a malevolent entity, or something else entirely? The questions lingered, unanswered, as the mystery of Hoa Verde continued to haunt the minds of those who sought to uncover the truth. And could his fragmented memories hold the key to unlocking the mystery that had haunted Brazil for half a century? The search for answers led investigators down a path filled with shadows and whispers as they pieced together the fragments of a story that had been lost to time. The revelation from the grave was just the beginning, a tantalizing clue that promised to unravel the enigma of Hoa Verde once and for all. A ghostly monument. Today, Hoa Verde stands as a ghostly monument to the unexplained. The jungle has slowly begun to reclaim the town, vines snaking through broken windows, trees pushing through roofs. Yet the eerie atmosphere remains. Visitors to the site speak of a palpable sense of unease, a feeling of being watched by unseen eyes. The silence is broken only by the rustle of leaves and the cries of birds, a constant reminder of the life that once thrived within these now deserted streets. The mystery endures. The disappearance of Hoa Verde remains one of the most enduring mysteries of our time. A town that once thrived, bustling with life, now stands as a ghostly reminder of the unknown. Was it a mass hallucination? Did the entire population experience a collective delusion so powerful that it led to their disappearance? Or was it a natural disaster so strange as to defy explanation? Could an unprecedented event have wiped out the town, leaving no trace behind? Or did something more sinister befall the inhabitants of that ill-fated town? Dark forces, perhaps, that we cannot comprehend, lurking in the shadows, waiting to strike. The answer, like the town itself, has vanished into the mists of time. Theories abound, but none can definitively explain the enigma that is Hoa Verde. But the story of Hoa Verde serves as a chilling reminder that there are still forces in this world that we do not understand. Forces that operate beyond the realm of our comprehension. Forces that can erase a town from existence, leaving behind nothing but questions and fear. The mystery endures, a haunting echo of the past, whispering to us that some secrets are meant to remain unsolved.
As we delve deeper into the annals of history, we are reminded that the unknown is always lurking, just beyond the edge of our understanding. The tale of Hoer Verde is a testament to the enduring power of mystery. And so the mystery endures, a silent guardian of the unknown, challenging us to question, to explore, and to never stop seeking the truth.